On December 27th, 2019, Brett Stevens uh, is a columnist in New York Times. He writes an article uh, by the title, The Secrets of a Jewish Genius, in which he tries to, to reassert that abominate myth about Jewish genius and Jewish superiority, the superiority of Jewish uh, intelligence, uh, which has been a, a myth that running around from time to time among the Jewish supremacists. He references an art, a study, a research study of 2005, uh, which uh, confirms that people like uh, Franz Kafka, um, Karl Marx, Albert Einstein, they all belong to uh, a, a certain um, sect of Jewish people called the uh, Ashkenazi Jews. He uh, references that study to prove that most of the uh, uh, the the, the uh, Nobel awards and, and and inventions have uh, have been shared uh, primarily, you know, by by Jews in general and the Ashkenazi Jews in particular. Uh, it's just very interesting to note that on the same day, December twenty seventh, twenty nineteen, um, around the evening time, the editors of New York uh, New York Times. Uh, append a correction or an addendum to the article at the, at the top of the article saying that the reference to 2005 study that Brad Stevens gave in the article uh, that very morning has been retracted. It has been removed because one of the authors of the study was uh, who died in 20, 2016 was actually promoting uh, racist views about Ashkenazi Jews, and, and he has he is, was confirmed that he has been promoting the, these kind of views. My concern is, I would agree, maybe there is a genetic factor that groups people of Ashkenazi Jews uh, and, and produces higher level of logical reasoning among uh, uh, Ashkenazi Jews. By the way, there is another study which confirms that all Ashkenazi Jews descend from four specific women of North African descent. So the DNA matching that you find in Ashkenazi Jews actually hail from four specific particular women of uh, North African descent, so Ashkenazi Jews, you know, uh, hail from. You can see all of them, you know, hail from the North African descent. Now, if you want to to confirm, uh, if you want to, uh, you know, somehow claim the superiority of uh, genetic sequence, then you must give credit to those North to those North Afri uh, um, Afrikaners who uh, gave you these these. Uh, uh, this sequence of, of uh, uh, DNA or genes to Ashkenazi Jews. Um, I, even if we admit that there is a genetic factor in a logical reasoning, Brad Stephens misses the point. Humanity needs more than logical reasoning. We also need empathy. We also need social skills. We also need the skills to live with other human beings. Logical reasoning alone will not be enough if we miss the point of social and emotional skills that are necessary to, uh, to, to work with other human beings, to collaborate with others. He pinpoints that Maybe Ashkenazi Jews would also afford the opportunity of uh, uh, promoting um, 
uh, inquiry they were uh, they were uh, um, they were encouraged to uh, ask why questions that is exactly what we teach in our schools the what what he considers as uh, uh, as a reason where you know he says that, um, that to, to to see that they were encouraged to see the absurd in the mundane and sublime in the absurd in simple terms we call it critical thinking this is exactly what we teach to high schoolers in america so critical th- this th- critical thinking is already is already given is already taught as a skill in high schools so afforded the opportunity any ethnic group can thrive in the area of um inquiry or in the area of uh, critical thinking um he he acknowledges that this prodigious intellect can be applied in the service of good things he calls prosaic things like formulating a war plan by the way formulating a war plan is a good thing as in terms of you know the applicability or application of intellect i don't think so but he calls that you know as a, as a good thing or constructing a ship fine but he also says that the same intellect the same genius higher iq can also be applied in the, 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 the this brilliance can be applied in the service of crimes like managing a controlled economy or robbing a bank so he does acknowledge that yes there is a misuse possible with higher intellect but you have the the human skills the social skills i mentioned then it teach these emotional skills teach you to control the, those very urges you know of uh, of being prone to uh, committing a crime um so uh, just the logical uh, genius is not enough to live a successful life um he also acknowledges which um from his words that these kind of uh claims in the past uh have been um have also been um promoted or or, or adopted by the the white supremacists the aryan uh, nationalists the people you know who uh who claim these very um uh, these very uh genetic superiority traits and they impose their will upon uh the, the these very uh, uh people of you know jewish descent so and he also acknowledges that this kind of a problem uh of, of these these the jewish um the jewish superiority uh actually uh, actually instigates or promotes hatred against uh, uh, jews um from groups like white nationalists or or uh, the uh, the black hebrews uh, the hebrew um groups and all that and he acknowledges that you know, um that the the hate crimes against orthodox jews have become uh, a fact of daily life in new york city so so why not just then ignore it that even if at all there is some this could be another genetic factor like somebody having a lighter skin or a darker skin it's just one of the 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 traits why to claim a genetic superiority of a particular uh race or ethnicity to the, to the belittling of other groups of people so that was the point which um which i think you know brett stephen uh, misses in in his reassertion of uh, Jewish superiority and all that that's the uh, that's the only point right now um we 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 can only survive and thrive as 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 one humanity from this point on the uh, these orthodox and, and 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 all these old obsolete concepts of superiority of you know one race to the other uh this got to go otherwise we in this will will continue having these conflicts and they they we already have enough reasons to uh 
to be uh, fighting with each other. We uh, the 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 annihilation of natural resources, the overpopulation, the climate crisis, uh, the global warming. These alone, you know, these factors alone are more than enough to uh, propagate these conflicts around the world. We don't need one more. And that's it. Bye-bye.